Good morning, everyone. It's Tess, and today is tip 399. And uh, most know that I've been at some uh, educational training events the past couple of weeks. Um, and I came back today and I was thinking about something. Uh, often in my life, when uh, I get uncomfortable, sometimes I think historically, I've looked to blame someone as if um, someone didn't treat me right about something or if something didn't move forward in the right way. I think sometimes we look for blame. And I decided like after going through some of these events this past couple of weeks, I really realized that being uncomfortable is inner guidance. Being uncomfortable is like a, a, a message from God. It's a, it's a message to you that there's time to take action. There's no, it's not necessary to look for a, for a reason as far as like, um, uh, my boss isn't treating me the way I should be, or this environment isn't providing me what I think it should. It's, it's, I think it's just a sign that we need to make a change. Um, everybody knows that I'm involved with Doc V, and actually I got to meet him the past two weekends. He was at both events. And uh, Brene Brown is a, a talker that he had us listen to this morning, and it just really kind of reminded me that I think we all have inner guidance, and maybe our understanding of how to use that inner guidance is different. And... Uh, I want to, from now on, recognize that when things are not sitting well with me, that means it's time for me to adjust my path. It's time for me to course re course correct. It's time for me to evaluate where I'm headed and see if there's a new direction I can go in. I think too often I felt victim to that hint that it was time to course correct, and I stayed too long in noodling or uh, ruminating when I could have been taking steps forward faster. And I think that's what I want to do is to recognize that if something's not feeling comfortable, it's just a message. It's a message that it's time to take a look at where I'm, what I'm doing, what can I adjust, how can I move forward, and how can I make things better. And I also want to remember that as I am course correcting, it provides opportunities for other people. I think it's kind of like we always talk about a hand up instead of a hand out. But if I'm standing in the way of the hand up for the next person, then it's almost like we're, we're blocking the path for everybody. So I think what I want to recognize as I move forward is that when something isn't feeling exactly right, I know I need to trust my inner guidance. I know I need to trust that that means it's time to make an adjustment. And I've made some decisions about that myself this very weekend. But I'm happy that I made those decisions because... We aren't victims in life. We can decide to make choices to move forward. And what I want to do now is to learn to course correct faster and to accomplish more faster and to reach my hand back to help somebody else up faster. It's not about handouts, but it's about hand ups. And like I mentioned a couple of weeks ago when I was in Sundance, uh, I, I realized that for me, in taking handouts, that's a form of rescue. And all of us get to a point in life where a, a rescue isn't possible. So if we learn, uh, identify when it's time to course correct quicker, maybe we can get down the path with less pain and less rumination in a spot that isn't producing results that make us happy. So I hope you find this helpful. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I want to get into my own work day. But if something doesn't feel good, maybe it's just simply inner guidance telling you that it's time to course correct. And maybe we make things too complicated sometimes. And if we step back and just make it a little bit easier, it'll go smoother for all of us. And that's my hope for you and for all of us. Let's make this world a better place. One smile, one reach of handship out, and one day at a time. Thank you and have a beautiful day.